There we go. Finally, something. Yes, sir. Whoop whoop, Juggalo Fishing fam. Welcome back to another episode of the Juggalo Fishing Posse. I am your host, Slash Gears. And today we are out here at the pretty but aggravating Broadway Lake. It is a uh, it's a real hit or miss lake. It's a relatively small place. You guys have seen me here before. You've seen me catch a couple of fish here before. Um, up there, actually, across the road below that spillway. That's where we used to catch all kinds of fish. And uh, yeah, can't go back down there no more. Uh, at least until I find another way that is. But yeah guys, we're gonna come out here and uh, toss around a couple of lures. I only brought two poles with me and one of them is not the ultralight, if you can believe that. Did not bring my ultralight today, but uh, but yeah. I've got my uh, my Fluger uh, bait caster and my uh, what is that the Akuma uh, spinning combo. So we're gonna get out here and cast a couple of things around, maybe some finesse worms, maybe some uh, maybe a jig, maybe even a jerk bait spinner bait. I don't know. We'll see what we can make happen. Uh, yeah. It's really hard to tell from here. So, anyway, let's get out there and I'll meet you ninjas at the water. Woo woo. Woo woo! I guess we should begin our journey over here in the corner above the spillway. I'm going to start with movement. So, I'm going to start things off with this six cents hybrid jig with a dirty little blue gill pattern. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if this little swim jig will pull anything out. Stand for a minute. I'll throw this bag down. Whoa. Jeez. Government property. No trespassing. It's because we all want to mess with your drainage. Let's 
switch it up to this ugly old thing. It may not look the best, but this spinner bait has caught some fish. There we go. Finally, something. What do we got? Is that a largey? Let's get over here, see if we can land him. Without getting bit by something else. Come here, buddy. Easy with that. Gotcha! Yeah! Yes, sir! We got some action out here now. Something else just jumped over there. Oh man, that's a good... That's a good two pounder, almost. He's pushing two pounds a little over. Nice fish. Nice fish. Budgie. All right, buddy. All right. Let me get back. Awesome. Heck yeah. Finally, something decent out of Broadway Lake. That's a freaking miracle. I'll show you guys what I got him on. Hopefully, you can see. Um. I believe this is a I believe this is a lucky strike but tiny little tiny little curl tail finesse worm tiny little can't even remember what size hook that is something really really small but yeah tiny little EWG tiny little Texas rig Got him right up there next to that freaking drainage box, or whatever you want to call that. Of course, now I'd get a phone call. God damn. All right. Anyway, back to working this little finesse worm. But yeah, guys, I got him right there on the corner that freaking drainage and how many times did y'all see me cast that that gum expensive freaking swim jig into that dad gum place swam it right past his nose all right guys I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm allowed to be here, but I mean, how can you ignore this kind of little spillway? Ow, ow, briars, damn.
guy if he'll stop. Heck yeah. Nice little bass out of there. Not bad. Heck yeah, man. Super cool. Swiped at it and then came back. Super, super cool. Alright fam, well that's what I got for you guys today. It was a, it was a short lived trip, but it was a successful trip nonetheless. Uh, just to recap, we got that one uh, two pound bass, maybe pushing a little over two pounds, somewhere in that range, but a good solid two pounds, I think, large mouth bass on that little finesse worm. And like I said, I don't know if that little spillway section with the tube and all that, I'm not sure if we were technically supposed to be there, but it was good to try and it was good for one bass so uh yeah two pound bass one pound bass like i said it was a short trip but i think it was a successful trip especially for broadway lake because broadway lake is just so pressured it's such a 